Ladies and gents, we're looking at what Kinnich actually does within the game. We're going to see some gameplay thanks to the collected miscellany on Genshin Impact's YouTube channel. Um, this is going to be translated into English, so there's a caption in the bottom. But yeah, other than that, we're just going to focus up here. Okay, straight off the bat, telling us that his elemental skill is the grappling hook. Of course, we already knew this, um, but we can see some specifics with it here. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can hold the skill to pick the enemy that you want to shoot at. Okay, if you're just around the overworld and you're exploring stuff, your elemental skill is going to be used just as a normal grappling hook and you can be, you know, up in the air and, uh, you know, just chilling. And his elemental skill's cooldown is reduced, which is pretty nice. Okay, you can grapple, I think, a maximum of two times. Okay, cool. So he has the same mechanic as, you know, any other Nathlane character. If you're running with any other character that's on field and then you switch over to Kinnich, he's going to come in swinging, which is pretty cool. Like Spider-Man. Okay. Yeah, if you see on the left side here, he's talking about the Night Soul Blessing state with zero Night Soul points. Now, on the left side, you accumulate these points over time, and um, while firing your normal attacks, you accumulate them even faster. And there's also one more mechanic that he's just about to be, you know, start talking about here, I think. Yeah, there we go. They showed it there. You see on the ground there there we go a blind spot that's what they're calling it the thing on the ground that you see right there right before he goes on top of it is called a blind spot and that allows you to accumulate nitro points faster and allows you to get that cannon uh quicker which is pretty important for his kit and if you guys see the little uh, the little burst there I'm, I'm gonna try to like capture the correct moment uh, right about now yeah that you see the, the white outlines every Natalan character has this it's called a night soul burst and usually within their kits it's shown that the night soul burst gives you a little bit more damage which is very very important and something else to keep note of it's usually just the first you know few attacks it's not the entire duration Okay, so he gets it off a few times. And after unlocking the talent, when he's in his elemental skill state, um, he enters the desolation state when affected by burning or burgeon. Oh, so this is part of his kit where he really needs the burning or burgeon reaction. And this will help him restore some night soul points, which is very, very important. This will allow him to get the cannon off even faster all right cool i'm glad they talked about this here and then there is um the elemental burst very very good i think the elemental burst just allows him to extend the period of his elemental skill which is uh, important for him to get another cannon off right or another burst whatever this is called which is very, very good. Uh, I don't think the damage of his um, elemental burst is that crazy. But I do know that it, it'll help him do his elemental skill better. Alright, that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is very important right here. The hunter's experience. So, if you trigger, or any party member triggers Night Soul Burst, um, you increase the damage that you do. This is the, the little white thing that appears that I talked about earlier, um, which is very, very important. It's pretty cool. And then I think I think they're just going to talk about his uh, ability to use the passive, and you can see the uh, Natlan specialties in the overworld, which is pretty cool. Now, I do think his actual playstyle as a character is very interesting. Uh, if you guys can see here, you just have elemental scale all over the place i think he definitely has one of the more unique 
uh, mechanics. I think that's a statement that we're going to see pretty often with uh, Natlin characters, which I, I really like, actually. But yeah, that is going to be pretty much it. He explained the entire thing. Uh, can we mention how awesome it is to have these voice actors as our, um, well, voice actors, right? <laughs> Kenich being a, if Sasuke, the Sasuke's Japanese voice actor is Kenich's voice actor. Yeah, Naruto's Japanese voice actor is uh, Aja or Aja, Aha, whatever it is. Uh, it's his voice actor so yeah it's pretty cool but yeah that's going to be pretty much it hopefully you guys did enjoy hopefully i made this a little bit simple for you guys i don't know i might have made it a little bit more complicated at the end of it but yeah it's going to be pretty much it hope you guys enjoy if you guys did let me know in the comment section down below i'll see you guys next time very soon goodbye